Greetings, this is user Kantar. Today I'm going to present to you how to install Keyboarding Master the beta. First you need to download the latest beta from <coughs> the Keyboarding Master website. You can go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash kbmaster as shown here. Um, usually you can click on this download button or click on files. Click on beta. And then at the top is um, either a 64-bit version or a 32-bit version. So select the appropriate version for your operating system. Uh, so 64-bit is what I'm currently using. Of course, I already have it. So <coughs> once it's once it's uh, downloaded, open up a terminal. Um, you can do that by clicking on the Windows button or clicking on the dash home if you're using Unity and then just type term and it will open up a terminal. Again I already have one open. Uh, next thing you need to do is use the sudo command. Um, this gives you temporary root access which is required for KB Master. Um, if you do not use sudo, you will get an error in the installer saying that you need to run this as sudo. So sudo and then the name of the file, type in your password, <coughs> and then we have a menu system. So it says welcome, click forward. Uh, this is the GNU General Public License version 3. So completely open source, accept that license. Um, it defaults to OPT. You can choose wherever. Uh, I normally put it in um, my home directory <coughs> under software. So just show you because I've already got that version installed. So I'm listing them like that. You can do it however you like. Um, I'll just do it like that. Forward. And then click on forward again. It's going to set everything up. Unpack everything. It comes with the Java Virtual Machine. Uh, the JRE runtime environment so you don't have to install anything extra so it does everything for you um, next you can check the readme file so this gives you uh, the notes for this particular version so always check out what's been updated and click OK uh, it will create an icon in your um, desktop so if we click that, um, it shows you that it went to the new environment. So if I click that, double click on it to start the application, <coughs> I'll basically have a clean slate. So that is the install. It's pretty easy. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you.